Okay, here I have my latest creations. Um, I guess I could say three plus modification to a couple of them. And these are my oxalic acid burners. These two, this one and this one, are the original two, which I have since cut off the ends and I don't have enough parts to put another end on this guy, but uh, I'll end up just um, capping it off and call it even. So this will be a single, single, five, four, and four. And I know these two work well. Hopefully those work well too, as much time as I spent cutting all those stupid little connections. You can see this one here. <clears throat> these are an inch and a quarter. These fittings here. <clears throat> and on all the other ones, all these guys, those are uh, uh, just an inch. And also this tube length, this is eight inches long. And this one, I don't know, I think it was like around 12. It's too long, it doesn't have to be that long. Eight inches, actually eight and nine. Made them a little different, just, just for kicks. But uh, yeah, so the deal is, if you see on my earlier videos, you fill these up with the oxalic acid in here. Make sure the male part goes down here. That's important, male part on the bottom. This is bad. The female part's on the bottom, that's bad. Bad, bad, bad. So anyway, um, put the male part on the bottom. Use uh, half inch pipe, half inch everything. Works a lot better. And um, these three here, all the connectors, all the new connectors you see, just the connectors, was about $30 online, not including the tubing, which I had from something I did a long time ago. Also, here's, here's the other one. Actually, this is the original. And again, you can see here, this is the, uh, the female part. That's bad. The female should go on top. So if you make one of these, put the female on top, the male on the bottom. It just works better. And ignore this part. This actually works really well, but it's not necessary. If you can figure it out, you get a cookie, but whatever. So if I modify this one, what I'll do is I'll put another one of these uh, small ones here, over here. And um, so that'll make this a two chamber. Maybe make this a two chamber as well. Put another little 90 on here and I don't know what I'll end up doing with it. Honestly, I'll probably end up giving these three away and keeping those. So, uh, I don't have that many hives. And also, I almost wonder why I'm doing this because from what I, everything I believe, I think the best ones to get are those foggers, which I'm going to get eventually at some point, but I'm not quite that big. Only 10 hives. And, uh, it actually takes a while if you just have single burners, but it should make it a lot quicker having the multiple ones. Now the one thing, if you ever do this, after you heat it, you gotta add water to the threads. It's totally important. It's, it's mandatory. You must add water. You can get a little squirt bottle, melt a little hole in the top, and just squirt it. And that will make the threads come off easy. If you don't, it'll fuse. Also, when you tighten it, do not make it tight. Taut. Just tighten it all the way and then back it off like an eighth of a turn. Just any amount. A sixteenth of a turn is enough. Just don't leave a little tiny bit of slack. It'll make it a lot easier coming off. Another quick way if you have a single burner is just dunk this entire thing in water. 
and so I have to have these welded maybe I'll make a video yeah I'll make a video how it comes out and uh, yeah this sure do look pretty like all shiny like that too bad they're gonna get all tarnished yeah